Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this. If you go to YouTube, go under search and hit channel Take Your Life Back Today show. You know, I saw this on CNN and I wanted to share it with you, but uh, it says, no one believed him when he said he hadn't been drinking. Then researchers found his body was producing alcohol. Can you imagine that? A body producing alcohol? Humans can suffer from a rarely diagnosed medical condition called auto brewery system. When a man in North Carolina was pulled over on suspicion of drunk driving, police didn't believe when he said he hadn't been drinking any alcohol whatsoever. The man, in his late 40s at the time, refused to take a breathalyzer test and was taken to a hospital where his initial blood alcohol level was found to, to be uh, 0.2 about two and a half times the legal limit and the equivalent of consuming 10 drinks an hour. Despite the man swearing up and down that he hadn't been uh, drink, drinking anything, doctors didn't believe him either. Friends, <clears throat> but researchers at the Richmond University Medical Center in uh, New York eventually discovered that the man was telling the truth. He wasn't downing beers or cocktails. Instead, there was a yeast in his gut that was likely converting carbohydrates into, uh, into food he ate to alcohol. In other words, his body was brewing beer. His body was brewing beer, you might ask? The findings were reported in a study in BMG, uh, uh, BMJ Open Gastronology. The man whose identity was not being uh, revealed had a rarely diagnosed medical condition called auto brewery system, or otherwise known as ABS, also known as gut fermentation syndrome. But fermentation system occurs when the yeast in the gastrointestinal uh, uh, that tract causes the body to convert carbohydrates ingested through the food into alcohol. The process typically takes place in the upper GI tract, which includes the stomach and the first part of the small intestine. These patients have the exact same implications of alcoholism, the smell, the breath, drowsiness, and uh, the weight changes. Fahid Malik, the study's lead author and the chief internal medicine resident at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, told CNN this, quote, they will present as someone who is intoxicated by alcohol, but the only difference here is, is that these patients can be treated by antifungal medications, unquote. Researchers treated him with antifungal medications at that time. Things weren't the same for the man after he completed a course of antibiotics to treat the, a thumb injury. His personality started to change, researchers wrote in the study, and he experienced episodes of depression, brain fog, memory loss, and aggressive behavior that was out of character for this particular man. Three years later, after his suspected drunk driving arrest, the man's aunt bought a breathalyzer to record his alcohol levels. She had heard about a similar case that had been successfully treated by a doctor in Ohio and convinced her nephew to seek treatment there too. His basic lab uh, test turned out normal, but doctor found two strains of yeast in his stool. Saccharomyces uh, cariaci, a yeast commonly used in beer brewing, one making and baking, as well as another fungus. The man was successfully treated at the Ohio clinic and told to stick to a strict carbohydrate-free diet along with some special supplements. But after a few weeks, his symptoms started to flare up again. This time, no treatment seemed to work despite visits to numerous medical professionals. At one point, the man became so inebriated that he fell and experienced bleeding in his brain. He was taken to a neuro neurosurgical center where he spontaneously recovered in 10 days, researchers stated. In this institution, his blood alcohol levels range from 50 to 100 milligrams, the researchers wrote. Here, too, the medical staff refused to believe that he did not drink alcohol despite his persistent denials. They just didn't believe it. Finally, the man sought help from an online support group and got in touch with the researchers at the Richmond University Medical Center, who said in the study 
that they believe the antibiotics he took years ago all his gut uh, microbiome and followed fun, fun, fungi to grow in his gastronomical tract. The researchers then used antifungal therapies and uh, probiotics to help normalize the bacteria in his gut, a treatment, and he was continued and has continued ever since then. And aside from relapse that happened after binged uh, on pizza and soda without telling the researchers, it seemed to be working. He can eat pizza again now. Approximately 1.5 years later, he remains uh, asymptomatic and has resumed his previous lifestyle, including eating a normal diet while still checking his breath alcohol levels sporadically, the authors wrote in the study. The condition is rarely diagnosed throughout the world. There have only been a few studied documented cases of gut fermentation syndrome, and the condition is rarely diagnosed, Malik said. In the past, however, it's even been regarded as a myth. Gut fermentation syndrome was described in 1912 as a germ carbohydrate fermentation and was studied in the 1930s and 40s as a contributing factor to vitamin deficiencies and irritable bowel syndrome. A group of 20 to 30 cases popped up in Japan in the 1970s and the first U.S. case was reported about 10 years later here in the States. There have been a handful of reported cases in recent years. A 2013 study described the case of a 61-year-old man who for years seemed to be drunk all the time before he was diagnosed with gut fermentation syndrome. In 2015, a woman in upstate New York had a DUI dismissed after presenting evidence that she had this particular condition. The authors of the uh, Richmond University Medical Center study uh, recommended that doctors investigate for the condition, especially when a patient shows elevated blood alcohol levels despite denying that they had consumed any alcohol whatsoever. They were told to look into it because the early signs of gut fermentation syndrome can include mood and cha mood changes, uh, delirium and brain fog. The researchers wrote even before a patient starts exhibiting symptoms of alcohol in uh, irritation. The study says that more research should be done on the use probiotics as a treatment for the condition. This is a condition that is treatable with dietary modifications, appropriate antifungal therapy, and possibly probiotics, the researchers wrote in the article. The use of probiotic uh, and uh, fecal microbiota translation uh, could be considered for future studies. Folks, it's terrible, but it's true. Call me at 844 Help together we can help it take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And a simple smile can change a person's day and can change your day also. If you feel, although you have never you never drink any alcohol, you always have alcohol in your system, go and have it checked out. May God bless each and every one of you. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And remember, God loves